what is up mb gang it is your nurse fake harley ray coming at you guys with a vlog well, I wish Taylor was here to see this. <laughs> Look, man, I'm getting my hole in my shirt. Yeah, dang. But, but, um, so. six in the show. Y'all, I haven't updated y'all on nothing. Really nothing at all. So, I know how I said I was going to be consistent, but I'm not really being consistent. Even though I ain't got no job no more like that, I'm still not consistent. <laughs> but, here the thing is, though, like, I, I don't do nothing. I don't do nothing. And then like the house that we in, it's like a very humble house. So in other words, it ain't nowhere to go. Like it's just the living room, the bedroom, and the kids' rooms. And I don't really be in that room like that. So I think more so for me, that's the reason why I'm not picking up the camera. Or maybe that's just procrastination talking. I don't know. But it probably is procrastination. But you go places. But yes, um, be trying to and, no and that's another thing she like new puppy, she can't do shit. yeah so I, I ain't even i haven't updated y'all on nothing okay you, you so about the puppy i ain't told him about nothing you talking about paco taco the third damn it ain't the third it's the first anyway so okay chandler calling chandler answer his call oh y'all hold on let me let me let me answer my baby what's up hi, Mama. hi baby guess what What's up, baby? Guess what? What's up? We have fibers over here, and I'm gonna pop them. You gonna pop them? Yeah, today. Oh, you having fun up there with Pepe? I'm only, I'm coming. I'm coming home today. You you ain't coming home today. I don't want to stay for one more day. I want to come back home. Chandler. What? what up, man? Hold the phone. I can't see you. What's up, G? I want to come back with y'all. We ain't even at the house. No, we didn't spend a night. You just went there. You look at that true boat on the side. Mm -hmm. We just spent that. We we going to spend a night tonight. Back today? Yeah, we'll spend a night today, and then you we'll be back tomorrow. tomorrow. You'll see us tomorrow. Ain't nobody at the house. I don't want to stay with one more day. Now, one more day, not gonna kill you. I'll take you to the store when you get back, and I'll take y'all to go get some more fireworks. No, and we'll go pick up Jace. No, I don't want to. I want to come back home today. All right, let me see what we can do. Can I just cancel the day so y'all can come? <clears throat> let me see. It's a lot of traffic out right now. And you pretty far right now, baby boy. Yes, anyway. Hey, Chelly. Get on the phone. Hey, chill out with all that. I'm going to see you tomorrow, okay? She <laughs> can't hung up on your ass. That nigga hung up on you. All right, so anyway, that's my kid, baby. We, that's another thing. That's how I know for a fact that I ain't picking up the cameras because we don't go nowhere. Like, my kid is becoming so, such like a homebody. Like, he wants to be around his mama and his daddy. Like, that's it. His mama, daddy, brothers, and sister. Other than that, he don't want to be around nobody. But um, anyway, so I picked up the camera today because we are going on a date night. It is my cousin Karina's birthday. She's turning 21. So that's our story and we are sticking to it, girl. And don't ask us how old she is, just know she's turning 21 and we gonna turn up today in Dallas. So let me give y'all a quick update. So we got a new dog. His name is Paco Taco. I'm gonna try to insert like a video here or here. If you were following me on my social media handles, which they are down below okay. in the description box, then y'all would already know okay. we have a dog. His name is Paco Taco. 
um if you don't know like i have a food theme for my dogs like i have a french bulldog and i i named her french fry um i have and so paco taco he is a um mini golden doodle and so we got him when did we get paco probably about, you know, we ain't had him a full month ago about two three weeks ago yeah we got paco almost a month ago um i got him from a breeder in dallas like it's like the dallas fort worth area not, not don't let me say dallas it's the dallas fort worth area it's like ithaca or something like that texas um it's on the outskirts of the dfw area and so we drove up there to go pick him up um and we got him back but he's a good dog like i'm so happy that i got him because he's so chill so lovable he's so sweet um and he's a fast learner i don't know if that's a thing for like the poodles and the golden retrievers or for the mini doodles or whatever but he is a fast learner um so i'm happy about that um but i pretty much wanted a dog that was like fluffy that didn't shed which french french fry she sheds she's a short-haired dog but she sheds a lot and I hate that because then I feel like I can't put my dog on my bed or I feel like I can't put my dog on my couch or whatever the case may be and like you gotta brush her every day. We got Paco Taco because I just want, honestly like a cuddle dog. And so um, he is that. Now I did expect him to be a little bit smaller um, and he did not turn out to be that small. I, I think that he's probably gonna be about around a 40 50 pound dog not 50. you don't think so not 50. so he might look because it's high but he ain't gonna be 50. He's i took him to the groomers 30. because of course it's the summertime and he has a lot of hair and so my mom everybody was like oh that's a big dog that's a big dog i'm like no nah, that's not a big dog he ain't that big and so i'm like it's just it's her and so I took him to the vet to try to like get his hair cut down. Well, I didn't know that when it's their first time going to the vet, you can't just go in and like cut their hair off. You got to get them the, used to the um, the dog grooming at the vet. Yeah, uh, my bad. When I took him to the groomer, I didn't know that like you got to introduce them into the clippers, and so he didn't really get a lot of hair cut off. Um, so she was like, um he's gonna be a big dog and i was like why you say that she was like yeah she was like he's gonna be a big dog and i was like why you say that she was like i can tell by his paws that he's gonna be a big dog and so i was like oh okay but i'm just hoping and praying he's not gonna be that big so on the site on the site the lady said that it was an f1b mini golden doodle and so um pretty much he's not like the he's not like that first breed in between a poodle and a golden retriever he's not that first breed he is their second offspring so the mom was a mini golden doodle already and the dad was a poodle so then that made my dog paco taco so that's what he's supposed to be so just basically put to be to be continued yeah very much so to be continued um updated six more months i think right now pounds. i want to say right now he weighs about what you think 17 18 pounds i get about 17. i think he pays 17 18 pounds and uh 24 16. and so he um he's about four months down so and he's 20 pounds <laughs> close to 20 pounds so there's that I don't know when dogs stop growing, but he's already 20 pounds. So. And French fries, she like, That's she 18 pounds and she three she years old. Pounds. So she's a smaller dog. She just sheds a lot of hair. Um, but yeah, so update on that. And so another update is the fact that Bing Bao, your girl, got her Van Cleef and R Petals bracelet. Um, I will insert a little video of me unboxing that right here. 
So I figured I would go ahead and let you guys see what I got, y'all. So, of course, if you guys know, then you know. But if you don't, this is Van Cleef and our pills. Um, I currently stay in East Texas, so we do not, even like in Dallas, we do not have a VCA store. Um, to my knowledge, I know we don't have one. And the nearest one is in Houston, which is about like three hours away. Um, so I went ahead and ordered your girl you know you know you know i had to go ahead and cop one of the vintage pieces but y'all check out this box and like this is a felt type of box um it's not like a regular box so sorry rudely interrupted no not really rudely but i got the kids but um so van cleef and arpels like this box box so even on the inside it's like superb and like this is more stuff for like my um it's more like um you know like what all i ordered and everything like that but i think that's so neat because this is like a little pocket right here y'all um but this is a card as well a little van cleef and arpels booklet which y'all i've been watching some of the um you know unboxing videos and stuff like that and these do not like their boxes and stuff do not even come like this so i am very gracious and happy that they sent this type of stuff over as well um they also got a traveling case you know um i think this is super super helpful because um as you girls know i'm about to be taking a lot of vacations and trips but this is um you know a little traveling case for it i can just attach the bracelet here which surprise surprise i just told you it was a bracelet and so this is the box this small box came in this huge box in which that box came in this huge box and like like i said i ordered a bracelet but i'm just like van cleef like did you send me the wrong thing like what is going on but like I said, packaging is stellar. They get a 10 out of 10 for me. Um, but yeah, I, I really don't even want to open it, bro. Like I really don't. I'm just so in awe that I actually got this piece. So I'm gonna try to see if I can open it like with one hand because I am recording on my phone right now. Um, let's see let's see let's see they have like some tape or something on it taping down the insides what's up finally here we go yeah oh my gosh she is so beautiful y'all look look okay so i opened it up and this right here is the five motif vintage alhambra bracelet um in the mother of pearl color um if you guys are close to me then you already know why i chose the four leaf clover um, Hi guys. <laughs> <laughs> but um so a lot of you may not know but if you guys uh well let me enlighten you um four leaf clover what do we think of most whenever we see a four leaf clover we think of saint patrick's day um that day is very important because my son was born on that day and then i also had a life event happen that day as well um that really changed and altered my life so um that is why this piece is so important and symbolic for me i chose the mother of pearl stone that's on the inside right here i chose that stone because of course it says mother in it as well and that's the day that i actually became a mother um but then also because for one this stone is like a um like iridescent whitish type of stone and it goes with pretty much anything they did have a green color but i heard the green stone um was having some issues as far as in like falling out of this little motif um so i didn't want that to happen so i went with the mother of pearl but yeah this is what i was gifted by my lovely husband so shout out to him for making this possible for making that possible for making this possible 
and I bought this for myself. I bought my Hermes bracelet, but Cartier, he bought that he bought. And then of course my ring, so. But yeah, so I have been wanting this bracelet, y'all. I really have been wanting this bracelet. And so I just couldn't bring myself to pull the trigger, but baby, I went ahead and pulled it. Thanks to the husband, that guy right there, from behind it for me because I'm the wife. I get what I want. Girl, Bob. So I'm not gonna get what I want now? I ain't saying I'm just saying, girl, Bob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. That's fine. But yeah, so. <laughs> Like we are going on a date night to celebrate our cousin's birthday uh, in Dallas. I'm excited because like I just told y'all, I rarely get out the house. Um, and I don't even think I updated y'all as far as in like my job, like as like what's going on. So you guys know I stopped my contract. And so uh, it ended on the third. I decided to take some time off because we have a lot of vacations coming up. So I just went on uh, my Jamaica trip to, uh, with, like it was a girl's trip to Jamaica. If you guys haven't watched that vlog, I would try to tag it up here or either up here. Um, but so check that video out as well. Um, so we went to Jamaica and then now we're going on this little day trip pretty much. And then, and then after that, um, on what's today, July the second. So pretty much in twelve days, we're going to Florida, um, and we are also, you know, gonna take the kids, and we're gonna have like our annual family vacation. We always and do we this. Got a weekend in San Antonio. And then we we'll have a weekend the in San Antonio. And then, um, I, I don't know, I don't know if, I don't know if we will take a trip out the country this summer or not for me and him, but I know for a fact we got to take another trip to San Antonio. Um, and then just for like a day night or a day weekend. And so then I have a family trip with me, Chandler, and my mom. We're going on a, a family cruise. Um, so that's coming up in August. So your girl, needless to say, got a lot going on in these next few months. That is why I did not pick up another contract is because I had so much going on and so much that I want to do. And I've never had this opportunity to just kind of sit and chill. Like the last time I actually had this time or this free time off, I was pregnant. So yeah, I spent like four months off and I've, I've been working ever since in Chandler six now and I've been working straight even before I had Chandler. So I've always worked. So now I'm finally at a point where I can just chill and relax. But I did do their per diem contract. So there's a local hospital, it's like UT Health here in this East Texas region. And so they have like a per diem contract. I'm still with my agency, but I signed up with UT Health Hospital to basically say, hey, twice out of a month, I will come work at your hospital. That's all I have to do is just work two shifts a month at any hospital that I choose, which they have some in Tyler, Henderson, Carthage, um, uh, Jacksonville they have them all over the East Texas region um, so I only signed up to work at Carthage Steel and Tyler um, and Henderson so I would mostly be only working in Henderson or Carthage um, but yeah so and I signed up for ER and I also signed up for I want to try my hand at ICU the ICUs at the smaller hospitals to me don't seem as intimidating so I feel like it'll be a good environment for me to learn a ICU background um, as you guys know I've, I've been ER for all of my career which I've been a nurse for like 10 plus years so I picked up for ICU I picked up for ER and I picked up for med surge uh, and IMC like a step down unit so I have that going on I haven't picked up any shifts they've been calling me every day girl like hey do you think you can work no hey do you think you no hey do you no I, I no not yet I'm, I'm just not I'm just not at that place yet where I feel like I'm ready to go back but that's one good side I will say to travel nursing is that you get that luxury where you can take that time off because in that six month time span where y'all see me 
traveling and you know working five six days a week baby I stacked up my money because I knew during the summertime they would have this low period so I made normally what I would make in a year at my old job I made that in that six months time span so now guess what I'm doing I'm just chilling I'm just relaxing I ain't worried about nothing I'm picking back up when these COVID numbers go back up, which they are surprisingly already back on the rise. So y'all be on the lookout. Um, another thing I will say, if y'all do not know about the little Facebook, um, like on Facebook, they have like little groups and stuff like that for nurses, um, like travel nurses, like so recruiters to get on there and tell you what assignments they have available. Um, and you know, you got direct access to these recruiters. So that's my advice to you guys if you are um wanting to become a travel nurse go ahead and get into these facebook groups because like i said recruiters will be on there all types of times and just post all the needs and availability that they got i'm just happy that i still get to stay with my agency because as you guys know if you've been following me we got the 20 acres of land i'm trying to we're trying to get to a point where we get ready to build on it. it it looks good to a bank that i still have one agency now that's another thing that i like i said i didn't i haven't updated y'all about we went and sat down with like a um like a mortgage realtor person just so we can kind of be on the same page because i knew my contract was ending so she said pretty much what was beneficial or what I needed to do was to stay with my same agency and make for sure that I pick up contracts and do jobs with them because they'll pull all of my pay stubs for the end of the year for this one person and it'll all look good whereas if they gotta go to this company and this company and this company and this company it may be a little harder um, and you guys also got to remember we are in East Texas so it's like smaller banks they're not as big you know they have different requirements each bank will be different but I know for a fact that is one thing that she said that um, I, ne I needed to be cognizant of and so that's why I'm choosing to stay with my agency now don't get me wrong I can go pick up a contract somewhere else but I would have to dedicate those three shifts a week and I would then put myself back with a different agency, which I don't want to do. I want to stay with the same agency and that be it. If you guys are in my shoes, um, I would stay with your same agency and just make for sure you're not getting different, um, you know, W-9s or W, or my bad, not W-9s, but W-2s. Just make sure you're not getting uh, different W-2s, so. Oh, I know, I know, I know that you're drunk. Yeah. Tell me what you want out of this club. You know you're nasty. You know you're nasty. Oh. Ride right in my house, ride right a taxi. I'm picky with my baby, I'm deciding. Oh. Call me to your baby, I'm sliding. Oh. I'm picky with my baby. So no name? Celine glasses. How much? Three hundred and sixty. Girl, what? You ain't gonna wear them. You ain't wear glasses. Yes, I do. No, I like that. Anyway, but okay. That's that's do a. Do you want a jean or do you want a flat? Cause it kind of held stuff in there. In between. Birthday girl. Okay. <laughs> that's so Taylor. That's so Taylor. So, like in between. I don't like those. I don't like that color. With the dump. Now I like those. The only thing is that I just want I would want them to be more tapered at the bottom. Or what you can but see they ain't gotta be tapered because you got these. So we still got I don't know about that look. That's right. Look at the. I just picked it up. Oh, <laughs> that phone. wait a minute. Are we in men's or women's? I could have swore this was a men's section. Thomas, something like this. Oh, you funny. <laughs> <laughs> Look at 
And then you throw on those, boom. That's like the more so, huh? I don't like those. I just need more of a... But they're nice because they're ASOS. ASOS, yeah. I know they're going to be good quality. Yeah. I just, I, need more of a dress. I just don't like the don't scrunchy like at the bottom. I don't like that. I don't like the scrunchy stuff. These, but they just. See, I, I like, like those. These, but these ain't my size. I like those. Huh? I do like those. But I don't know where to find these motherfuckers. I'm going to buy them if I got them. Anyway, we going to be. Oh, they're right here. They're right here. Hey, ain't these those, uh, ooh, Phillies. I wear them with no, I wear them with no draws right there. Feel that? Them the no draws. This the no draws. I wear them with no the draws. The gray. I'll let you slang and bang it. Yes, man. this the no draws right here. For the men, gray sweats with the no draws. Show mm -hmm. not on me, I'm excited, baby boy. Hey, I really want to try some new shades. What are these? Oh, Dior. I feel like they're so big though. What you think? They are, yeah. They like they're big. way big. Yeah. If I had to pick between that one and the other one, would be, of course. For sure. Yeah. Okay, that's Dior. <laughs> Girl, look at that little Kim Price. <laughs> uh, let me, let me, let me make sure this focuses. Baby. <laughs> Okay, I ain't gonna lie. Thank you. I like them. I really do, but it's six hundred and twenty dollars. <laughs> Let me stop. Thank you. Now those Celine ones, I love Celine, but baby. Um, I hear everybody talk about the number five. No. <laughs> Thank you. Not the number five. Hold on, hold on. This camera. Not, look, and he said it's so common. Not the number five. I'm telling you, it's not. Yeah, it's it's old woman. It's old woman. I feel like some black lady wearing smooth, feminine. I like that, but I'm hooked on this. I love it. The, the, the chance. Yeah, chance is one of my favorites. Can we get a sample? Mm hmm. Sure, the bottle. I wonder if they have it in a smaller version because these bottles right here, you can get those at a store. Really? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. Um, are you working uh, this counter too? Or just... Yes. Yeah, I like uh, the Jazz Club. Mason Marjola? Mm-hmm. For some reason, I can't rock with that one. Maybe that's just me, though. See, I just got into it. I, I just got into I it. Do like the, I like the beach walk. I like the, one, the new one, the rain stops, is amazing. I want to try it. I want to try it. Yeah. I really do. I've heard a lot about the YSL. Oh, and um, good girl. Oh, no, no, no. I'm getting Tiffany today before I go. I got to get the Tiffany. Oh, I like, I like this. I like, the, and what is this one? When the rain stops. The one the, that's the newest one. Oh, I like this one. I like it. Yeah. Which one is this? Lazy, Lazy Sunday morning. Also one of my favorites. This one takes me back to Nautica. To who? Nautica. Like their perfume. Oh, I've never tried Nautica. Nautica. I need to put this down. Okay. My bad. I, I didn't put my whole mouth on it. And what's this one? That's it's called Beach Walk. One of their more popular Beach ones. Also one of my favorite. Beach Walk definitely does, but this uh, when the rain stops. When the rain stops. It's one of my favorites. When it, since, since this came what's out. Your Me. Mm -hmm. Fashion. I like a floral. <laughs> this isn't too sweet though. It doesn't feel like, you know, powdery, flowery. No. You see, they put the green notes in it too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Have you tried Jazz Club? Mm -mm. Oh, that's a winner. That's a winner. I, I, it grew on me though. Yeah. Because at first, I never liked Jazz Club. I was like, what the hell is this? Uh -huh. And then it grew on me and I, mm -hmm. I loved it. Do you know it actually has rum in it? 
And I like rum. Yeah. Rum is one of my favorite drinks. Yeah, I'm a rum girl. It's a very deep drink. It grew on me though. Yeah, I'm telling you, it grew on me. What you um? What you think? What you think? I like. like you might have some No, I don't. No? Um, oh, y'all have even smaller sizes of them. No, no, no. Um, the other. Yeah. What do you have them in? It ain't the one that I got, huh? When the rest is. I'll get that. I'll get the smaller bottle. And are you over here too? Are you over here too? Um, I want to try out. Well, oh, okay. Fine in here. Yes, ma'am. Please help me. <laughs> but I do. Yes, ma'am. Let me go to YouTube. Yes, I do. Your channel, your information. Mm -hmm. She said we don't have it in store. Why would you order it online? I'm sorry. Okay. Um, the smaller version. Yeah. How much is the bigger bottle? One forty-four. Okay, I'll take the bigger uh, bottle yeah, exactly. if you have it in store. Yeah, we don't have it. In, we don't have it for either. No. You don't have it at all. No. We have one other one. Oh, shut up. We have, we have the jazz club. We have everything but the window. Yeah, I got jazz club. Oh, no. It's all right, but I will get. Tiffany, I heard Tiffany for sure. Which one? The, uh, the, the new one or the original? Which one is the original? Yes, the original. I got you. For sure. Have you smelled the rose gold? No. That's fine. Let me see. Let me see. Since you say it's fine. I've heard that. I've heard big and small. You ready? Yeah, we'll shoot you. Yeah, go ahead. Type it in, and I'll subscribe to you. Yay! Absolutely. Got to support. No. There you go. There Absolutely. I go. Absolutely. Perfect. Okay, I'll I'll Thank check you, you out. Thank okay, you. Okay, you're welcome. No problem. Oh, I, it's, but this smells like. It's a little sweeter than the original. The original like used to have fresh smooth. Mm-hmm. You like the original better? Yes, but tell. this one smells like, um, I ain't gonna lie, Victoria's Secret stuff. Oh, so we don't want that. Uh-uh. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Homer hanging on my neck. The bracelet matches a set. My brother's name is Tina Dollar. Stop all that back and forth over the net. My mama wish I would've went corporate, she wish I would've went exec I still turn to a CEO, so the lifestyle she respect Hey, two sprinters to Quebec, Cherie ou et mon bec They only giving niggas plus one, so I never pull up to the Met You know I gotta bring the set, you know I gotta bring the G-Block You know I gotta bring the D-Block, cause you know how sticky it get, Hey, You know how sticky it get, Hey, You know how sticky it get, Hey. You know I stick yeah. 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 it one more time, one more time. Yeah. 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 You know I stick it, yeah. Hey, yo, yeah. bring them girls to the stage, cause somebody's getting paid. And free big slime out the cage. And Shorty tried to play it cool, but now she wish she would have stayed. Cause every song that I made is ringing like I got engaged. I love my guys, I wouldn't trade. Ay. From the cradle to the grave. Hey, Gordo got me on the wave. And got me on the wave. Couple hits, now you brave, boy. You niggas better behave, boy. All that pumping up your chest, boy. All that talk about the best, boy. You know how sticky it gets. All right, y'all, so we have made it to our room. If you know this spot, then you know this spot. You know how it looks. But we are staying at... Bum, bum, ba -da, the a ah. Hotel. Let me tell y'all how I messed up at first. So how I messed up was, um, I 
booked the hotel right because it's, it was like 179 dollars i was like damn 179 dollars that's pretty cheap right so i book it right and then i get to looking at the reservation and it tells me that it's the um aloft hotel for the one in um it's the aloft hotel for the one in um dallas love field so i'm like oh my god like i and i've never stayed over here and you know we just drove my escalade today so i was like oh my god I, I i mean i don't know about this one but i will say the um hang on y'all let me prop y'all up on some let me try to prop y'all up on some the aloft hotel in downtown dallas is where we normally always stay well like i said i didn't book that one and so i was like oh my god like what the fuck so then i'm like well okay just try to make the best out of it like at least if it's by the airport it's not gonna be a lot of you know bums walking around and so like if y'all don't know downtown dallas has a lot a lot of like homeless people um it was very sketch and like last time when we, when we were were there um in downtown dallas i just felt like it was just too much going on for me i'm gonna just be honest and real it was just way too much going on for me and when we parked the car like if I see another vehicle park and y'all ain't get out the vehicle and we took a long time to get out our vehicle and y'all didn't get out y'all vehicle and we was in Cordell's like jacked up truck. Um, and if you guys do not know, um, you know, people, they are known to steal like the uh, Cadillac converter or whatever it is called or whatever my husband was trying to tell me. So, um, but it was like a little, like a SUV type of van thing that pulled up, right? Nobody got out. They sat there and we was in the car for like a good 20 minutes, right? Nobody got out. And so I'm like, well, what the fuck? Like, why are these people just sitting there? Well, once we, you know, we was like, all right, we ain't gonna get out until they, you know, figure out what they gonna do. They never got out. They, they got the gist that we weren't gonna get out. And so then next thing I know, they drive off and they don't come back into the parking lot. And so I'm like, well, what the fuck was that? So I don't know, it just made me kind of sketch and like y'all know i got my new car and so i just didn't want and i'm not trying to sound bougie or anything like that i just didn't want nothing to happen to my vehicle um because it's like an open parking lot it's like it's mixed like the aloft hotel is mixed in with a parking lot that people park in for like clubs and stuff like that it's mixed in with like that um five dollar parking type of thing so it was it was just kind of sketch for me so i didn't yeah uh-uh uh-uh I wasn't going for it. But yeah, so let's do a little haul real quick. If I got some time, hopefully I got some time. So I went to Nordstrom's y'all and I had to get, I had to get the Tiffany and Co perfume. Um, Tiffany and Co love perfume. It's for her, um, but I got the original version. It's the three fluid ounces or 90 mLs. So I also went to Aritzia. So you know how I told you like in a few vlogs ago, I was like, oh, I'm not going to Aritzia. It's super pricey, da, da, da. Like, okay, so I didn't think they were gonna have sales and they ended up having a sale. So I got their Divinity jumpsuit in the brown color. Um, and normally they are like $98, but it was on sale for 68. So I got that. I'm not gonna show y'all that because it's kind of like wrapped up, you know, kind of bougie-esque. And then I went to Sephora and got um, their brow pencil. I absolutely love their brow pencil. Like I used to be like a Mac spiked girl. And it wasn't until this last trip to Jamaica when I got it, I was like, it's not really hidden. It's not as dark as I want it to. And I realized it's because I don't have the Benefit brow pencil. Um, they're dark, their brown is just a little bit darker than the Spiked by MAC. Um, and I'm just in that realm now where I like a darker type of um, brow. So I also got a um, travel size of the Milk um, Hydro Grip Primer. I've heard really, really great things about this. It's supposed to be really good for people with oily skin. So I wanna try that out tonight. I got a travel size of the Laura Mercier um, Translucent Setting Powder. Y'all know this is the GOAT. Um, so I'll be using that tonight. And then one of the stars of the show, and I just realized I got two perfumes, um, but it is the 
replica Mason Margiela uh, when the rain stops. This right here, this right here, yeah, it's legit. So if you guys just watched the previous clip, the guy, I don't know if I caught that on camera, but the guy was like, they're all sold out. Um, I think I did get that on camera, yeah. He said they were all sold out completely. He could order it for me, da 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 But I'm that person, like, I want my stuff now. And so I was like, nope, don't worry about it, you know. I already knew I was gonna try to go to Sephora and see if they got like a mini version of it or something like that. Cause if y'all don't know, at least the Sephora in Dallas at North Park, they have like a little perfume section back there. Um, and they're really, really good with their perfumes. Like they have a lot of name brand of stuff there as far as in perfumes. I know the one back home, they don't have as much good stuff like this one do. But y'all, this, this right here, um, let me see, let me see. Um, the fragrance description is fresh rain, fresh rain and sun rays. I'm trying to figure out the notes for y'all. Mm. Don't have the notes on here, but if y'all get a chance, try the Mason Margiela replica um, when the rain stops. Um, the guy said this was one of their newer fragrance fragrances that just came out so if y'all get that chance please run to the nearest nearest um sephora or um you know mall and try out that uh when the rain stops because it is so good so as far as in like what i bought tonight let's i also bought like a little two-piece set from h uh not h&m but from zara i'll show y'all that later but i had to stop by express because i was trying to help my friends them find some stuff to wear but you know realizing i'm like shit i ain't even get myself nothing to wear so i bought these little new shoes right here these are like i said from express um they're like a regular nude color sandal with um the tie up strap and then the star of the show is this little piece right here this is the skirt right here it's a cute little ruffle skirt like this and I got the top with it so um and it's super stretchy y'all super stretchy so i'm hoping this medium will do me but yeah so got this on i'm gonna go ahead and try to get dressed because child honey boo boo matter of fact where my phone right here so we are supposed to leave here in a little bit like nine o'clock so that mean i got like 40 minutes to get dressed luckily my makeup is mostly done i just need to touch it up and you know zhuzh it up i was gonna take all my makeup off but baby i ain't got that type of time so yeah i'm gonna throw this outfit on and catch y'all later so i am dressed girl is trying out the little filters so okay so let's do a outfit check outfit check is what i almost dressed Do what I Outfit check. This two piece came from Express. Shoes from Express. Hubby looks good. You know, I like being comfortable. Okay, Rico, motherfucking suave. I told him he take the damn do rag off. We got that. Okay. He needs the do rag off and watch it. He got that. Right. We got action. So All right, Rico. We're going to go run to the store real quick. Go to the stuff uh, You gonna take that to Karina or do you wanna hold this? He need to eat him some cigarettes. Yeah, He's sick. I thought I'm just it's over with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let me take him down there to get that. Seven so eleven just right down the street. So we'll be right back. Boy, cigarette smokers ain't shit. So good news is that we are only if I can sit y'all up on that. <laughs> I feel like I'm being interrogated. <laughs> like how they put the spotlight on you and shit. Ooh. Oh, oh my God. It's, it's, it's just bad lighting all, all the way around. But yeah, so luckily the hotel is uh, only about 2.5 miles away from the uh, restaurant. So that's pretty good. Um, the restaurant closes at 10.30, so 
we still have an hour and 30 minutes to dine, which I don't think we'll be in there that long. But um, a lot of people do this. Uh, they actually take forever to um, leave the restaurant at Gloria. So that's one good thing that we won't be having a rush because like I said, the restaurant is like right down the street. Um, so what else? Yeah, so since it's so close to the uh, restaurant, baby, we honestly are gonna start staying here. Maybe that's cause like when God deter your plan from where you supposed to be at and he put you somewhere else, I always look at the positive. So one thing I will say is that um, I am liking this location a whole lot better, but right now I'm really just trying to clean up. And I know I really shouldn't even be trying to clean up child cause it ain't even, it ain't even like that. But I just, you know, want to freshen up the room a little bit. So that way, hold on. Hello. Hello. Hey, when you come out, can you bring some of this loose powder? Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Don't rush. Don't just. Oh, I'm finna. I uh bring it to you now. Okay. I'm I'm already done. Okay. All right. All right. Then my cousin just texts where we at. Ooh, I hope she ain't at that restaurant yet because baby, we just told her that we was gonna be there at nine. Hello. Where you at? Hello. Uh, hold on, real quick. Hello. Get this dang on room key, honey, before I forget. Hello? Hey, um, now what'd you say? Hello. We are there. Uh, thank you. Um, we are at the hotel. The hotel is only like two, two miles away from the restaurant. Okay. Uh, Where y'all at? I just made him a little bit and then she, I can see y'all, Right, right. Okay. Well, cool beans. Looks like we gonna be make, be making it at the same time. I like what you yeah, doing. Yeah, we about to end it. I know your whole ass didn't do this. Oh, baby, we already done and dressed. They had to go, uh, the men had to go get some, well, one of the men, Cordell Cousin, had to go get a, uh, had to go get a some cigarettes because he's a cigarette smoker. But yeah, um, the 7-Eleven is right down the street from the hotel anyway, so we about to... Who is that, Aisha? Uh, oh, yeah. Shit. Hey. Uh, Karina said, hey. <laughs> the birthday girl said, hey. Hey, girl. Uh, so yeah, we'll be up there. Uh, I said we'll be up there around like 9.20. Like we'll be at the, at the restaurant at 9.20. Uh, but GPS, see how far we are. They said they'd be here in like 18. Okay. All right. All right, baby. Perfect. All right, bye. Bye. I'm like, it was so bad. Since you're pretty ass, as long as you came in the door. I just want to chill, but it's like my store. And I've been to the money and you pushed it to my store. So down the whip and I should leave it here for long. She might try to play, let her at the train go. We've been coming up, watch our bottom bands go. We just had a go, talking back to Lambos. I'm 56 and grandma. This nigga always trying to talk about what the fuck she started. I did. But I finished. I, I, I started finished. the race. I, and I finished that I bitch. I started the race. I finished that I bitch. I started the race. I finished that bitch. I just want you to know I, I started the race. And I just want you to know I finished. You right. All right. You right. All right. So we made it. I'm tired of arguing. We've been arguing about this shit since 2009, bro. And she Babe. still, hey, she still didn't get her tube back. 
Thank you. You are hot. Hey, hold that shit. Hey, hey, hey. Right now, we chill. What time it is, Ray? Uh, My shit ain't ticking. 11.24. Your shit ain't ticking? Hey, hey, hey. Nobody else ain't either. <laughs> Oh, my word. Hey, it's 11.24. All right, give us an hour. One hour later. So when you do your edit, do one hour later. All right, we'll be back in an hour. Big ass leg. Baby, <laughs> but on the weekend, Woo. she loving my crew. Loving my crew. Oh, you go. I put her in LV. On my feet is LV. I think I'm a lover. Voice ain't to your bitch like LV. Hey y'all, so we have made it back to the hotel. My battery's dying. <laughs> oh, my face looks super freaking oily, super freaking oily, but. So we are back at the hotel. Um, Cordell's in the shower. I'm about to get in the shower next. Um, Checkout time is at 11. It is currently 4.32. So yeah, we ain't gonna have that long to sleep. But overall, club was good. Vibe was good. Everything was good. So I'm just happy we had fun. No, I don't. Um, it's the next day. It is ten twelve. Checkout is at eleven. We asked our friends if they wanted to check out like later or whatever, if they had a later checkout. But they were like, no, nah, we can we can go ahead and check out. They early birds, baby, they early birds. But um, so yeah. Man. This damn hair getting my getting my nerves. I don't know what I want to wear today. Oh, that little two piece set. Let me go ahead and show y'all. It's from Zara. So, um, I think they still have their semi annual sale going on. So, y'all, if y'all got a Zara and y'all haven't went to their semi annual sale, you might want to go check it out. Um, but it's this little white two piece set here. Um, um the batteries did so, and I bought two batteries. Um, but I just didn't charge them. <laughs> but yeah, so this is the white two-piece set right here. Dara, it's just a plain, stretchy type of uh, material. Um, I did this, did get this in a size medium. It was like $27. Um, now, this was not on sale, though. Um, and the top, I got it in a large, um, and it was $25. So that's the little two-piece set that I got. I just don't know for sure if I wear it because, baby, y'all know I've been drinking. And so, I'm going to be bloated if I do wear it. I'm not even going to show y'all my feet, but from those heels, those strappy heels, man, like, yeah. My feet are swollen. <sighs> so, I need to figure out what I'm going to wear back. Which, I think we're just going to go get some brunch today. 
which I only bought a few outfits anyway. Um, I think y'all seen this outfit right here. Um, it's the one that I wore when I was in Jamaica. Um, it's this little outfit right here. I would let y'all, um, I would record while I'm getting dressed and stuff like that, but I want to hear some music playing. I'm going to just go ahead, vibe out, do my makeup. Um, yeah, long ass night. Long ass night. <laughs> I tried the Milk Hydro Grip Primer and it's lit. It's lit. I think my makeup looks really good. Yeah. Yeah. I have to have a lot of footage so that way whenever I go to edit it, like it tells a story of what all we did. And it got to oh, look fun. Because if it don't look fun, oh, anybody gonna watch that bitch. Oh, y'all getting out going there or what? Yeah. They got those wrap snacks. <laughs> y'all, these wrap snacks. <laughs> I don't know who this is. Romeo Miller. Migos, the classic. Oh Lord, Cordell. What? You gotta try these. Uh, they got uh they got a little boosie on them. <laughs> oh, you know what? That's gonna be her birthday gift. Yeah, Okay, I'm gonna put y'all up on game because Gina put me up on game. These fucking Celsius shrinks, bomb as fuck. Um, what'd you say? I'll try watermelon because I tried this raspberry acai. I don't think I liked it, so I get this too. Y'all know if y'all know me, these used to be my jam right here. They're so good. They used to be my shit. Okay, guys, we, uh, we have completed the Nikes tour, uh, the Dallas trip, <laughs> and we're headed back to East Texas. Uh, great vibe, great family vibes. We we had a great time. Uh, try it out sometime. Yeah. yeah. Good business talk. Good oh, goals. Good great goals, business talk. Goals. Yeah. goals. Yeah, I will say that. That's one thing that I loved about this trip is that on our way back, we actually asked each other, like, what are y'all goals? What are y'all planning to do? Um, and that's one thing that I absolutely will say that I love is that they're married, we're married. It's cool to hang out with your single friends, but you got to find some married friends if you are married. So, yeah. Because what them single folks do, y'all can't do. Y'all can't, can't be associated do. with it all the time. Yeah. That's facts. What they say? Birds have a feather. Walk to Walk to motherfucking devil. Oh, yeah. So, if your homeboy out there doing some fuck shit and that's your homeboy, you doing some fuck shit too. All right, bro. See, I can't take that ride with you right now. Hell nah. We're in different bags. Guilty by association. Made it back home. As you can see, I'm on my couch. Just relaxing, chilling. I am tired. It's like 6 o'clock. Um, Cordell's already taking a nap. I read through the clothes and stuff like that in the dryer. I mean, well, in the washer. Um, they're now in the dryer. But yeah. I'm really just relaxing on this couch, finna catch up on some YouTube vlogs. 
I hope you guys did enjoy today's vlog. Like I said, it was just a quick little day trip out to Dallas um, to celebrate uh, my cousin-in-law's uh, Karina, her birthday. Um, but yeah, I had so much fun. So much fun. It was lit. It was lit. I really needed that. Like, I really did. Like, just to vibe out with a good married couple. Just have fun. Drinks. Food. Yeah. We had so much fun. But, if you guys are not subscribed to the channel, I would love it if you guys joined the MB gang. You know, over here, I talk all things nursing, lifestyle, beauty, hair, whatever it is, girl. I'm that's all my genre um but i would love it if you guys did join the mb gang family like i said i am trying to work to be more consistent but with me being a stay-at-home mom now essentially like i don't have much to do so i don't be wanting to bore y'all with vlogging the same stuff day in day out um so that's why that's part of me not being as consistent as i would like to because i don't have stuff to do um, but yeah, so that is one thing, but I will try to post every week, if not every other week, for sure, for sure, every other week, I'm gonna try to do something, I'm gonna dedicate that and try to do something, something, very much something, <laughs> um, but yeah, so make sure you guys check down below. Um, in the description box, all my social media handles will be there. I have TikTok, I have Instagram, and I have Snapchat. I'm more active on Snapchat, so make for sure you're adding me on Snapchat. I don't know why. I'm, I don't know. I don't know what rhyme or reason. I'm just way more active on Snapchat. But yeah, so um, I'm going to try to be more active on Instagram as well. These damn dogs right here. Yeah, call child. That's all they do. It's just play fight. That's all they do. But so, um, I will go ahead and end the vlog here. And I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye, babes. <laughs>